Hello everyone. This is Dominic with Frontline Animal Removal. I normally don't do the trapping, but I'm here on a job for groundhogs and I'm going to show you what's going on. As you can see right here, this is an addition onto a house. And that wood skirting has been damaged, uh, broken through, whether it was rotted from touching the ground or not and a groundhog has found it. Its main hole is right here. We can tell that because number one, there are flies inside that I'm not sure if you can see them or not down in there. There's a couple buzzing around and there's the main dirt pile right there. So this side, there are two holes, definitely the main holes. Here's the back side. You can see that's where the main holes are over there. This is the back side of the porch with some stairs. And as far as this goes, you can see that there's an opening there that groundhogs may or may not be able to get through. The groundhog, it looks like the groundhog is definitely able to slide under that. And here's the third side, which comes off the house. And again, it looks like some groundhogs are able to go through there. So we know where the main hole is, and we know where the possible routes out are. So what we'll have to do is to control these holes with probably some materials here. There's some rock and some dirt that can kind of control them. And then we'll set up the two traps on the other main holes. Here's the first setup over the main hole completed. Materials we used were one Comstock trap, Comstock trap and one cardboard box and the dirt around the hole that had been over this way got moved over here along with the cardboard. So now when we look down in the hole, we can see that once the groundhog gets wants to come out of that hole, uh, it can't go to the groundhog's right, it can't go straight. It's gonna take the path of least resistance and come out this way. Same thing if the groundhog wants to get in. So the important thing is to just make sure that it's blocked around so it doesn't really have any other place to go. The trap, the cardboard can't be pushed from the inside very easily to get out. Although the groundhog could dig around it if the groundhog decided it didn't want to go through the trap. But most likely the groundhog is going to look for, at it for a long while and then decide oh, I'll take the path of least resistance which is right through the center of the trap. Getting in the same way, and then as it brushes a combination of wires and screening that are there, it'll brush those to, sorry, it'll move the triggers that way, which then releases that and both doors slam down. Same thing if the groundhog comes in this way, it'll brush and move it that way, triggering the lock. Both doors will come down, the groundhog will be trapped. So it's not very pretty, but it'll catch a groundhog. The second setup is fairly similar. Same style of trap. The groundhog has to walk through the trap, brush the wires away, either coming or going, and the doors go shut. I didn't put this all together yet because I wanted to show you. Over to the side. I just put a piece of wire right there. There's really no way to go there because of the house is there, but that'll just keep the groundhog a little more focused on going through the trap. And I stuck that wire, just planted it into the ground. I also used a little piece of wood that I found right here as a wedge, just to hold this cardboard in place nice and firmly. Again, the groundhog will hopefully take the path of least resistance, which is right through the center of the trap. I'll show you more when we get this other piece of cardboard on and taped together. Here's the completed setup of this trap. Trap's covered with three sides, only the back towards the hole is open. That corner piece, although there's no real where to go, is blocked off with this little wooden wedge that was just laying around and a piece of wire. 
And then to stiffen up that side, use dirt at the bottom, some backfill, and just set that pot there. So there's no real way that anybody could push around it to get in, force them through the hole. And again, so much easier just to come out and try to dig around it. Although that's a possibility. So now this double setup on the main hole is ready for the groundhogs coming either way. Either if they're under the porch and coming out or out somewhere in the neighborhood feeding in a garden and they're looking to get back in to their safe spot. The last part of this trap setup is to block off the other easily seen exit holes. So we know that the groundhog probably hangs out everywhere under this addition. Uh, there were holes there. We just took rocks from the landscaping and blocked those over. Again, I just used what was here because I didn't bring a cinder blocks or fencing with me. Uh, and a lot of times you can find stuff on site to use to block off the holes. So I use those rocks and that log there to block that way out. I use that combination of rocks to get that little crawl under. And I use that rock there to block off that crawl under. Now the groundhog can definitely dig out anywhere under there that it wants to get out. The groundhog could come over here and dig out anywhere under there to get out. The groundhog can get out, but this will be watched. It'll see if the groundhogs either A, go through the traps, or B, dig out. If the groundhog digs out, we'll go to plan B. Okay, back here at the job we set up around noon today. Got a text around 4.30 p.m. And so the groundhog's already in the trap. So, here's our setup. And... In that trap, out of the, not what I'd consider the main hole, but a good hole, there's the ground hole. So we'll take that trap away, put another trap in, and see if there are any more living under this back porch. Well, it's Friday now. The traps were set on Tuesday. A groundhog was caught on Tuesday. Friday has come, there's been nothing left in the trap. Nothing going through the traps. Nothing's been caught. Empty traps for days. There was a block there. Nothing's dug under there. On the other spots that were possible dig unders. Uh, nothing dug around there. Nothing dug around there. Or anywhere there. So, we can be assured that there are no groundhogs under this back porch. It was probably just a single groundhog it's that it came here in the end of August, beginning of September, dug out a new hole. Uh, younger juveniles that are becoming adults go out about this time of year to find their new territory. So that was the situation here. And no animals in the traps just mean that the job has been accomplished. The last thing that the homeowner is going to need to worry about then is just covering up the holes there's different levels of protection that could be taken for this uh, and that's something that the homeowner will be advised about and think about